As ABC Action News reporter Julie Salamone found out, it's a younger population that is now being hospitalized. Avent Health Wesley Chapel has temporarily postponed any non-urgent elective procedures that require an overnight stay. The decision frees up hospital beds. Across our six hospitals uh, in the in Tampa Bay region, we're well over 300 patients now. Um, that is exceeding our our past surges uh, entirely, and it uh, is continuing to grow. The chief medical officer of Avon Health Tampa, Dr. Doug Ross, says more than 90% of patients in the hospital are unvaccinated. Doctors are seeing a younger demographic. Oxygen requirements, of uh, patients' lungs not functioning adequately, uh, you know, so they're short of breath. Uh, and then, of course, they have the flu-like or what I would call flu-like symptoms of uh, nasal uh, congestion, headache, uh, cough, runny nose. Uh, some are losing taste and smell. Bay Care hospitals are also seeing a significant increase in COVID-19 patients in the past month as the Delta variant spreads. The healthcare system says it has surpassed its busiest peak, which happened in July of 2020. The majority of patients are between the ages of 20 to 50 years old and are unvaccinated. We made the decision in our Hillsborough County markets first to, to defer any elective surgeries requiring an overnight stay. And the reason we did that is we wanted to reserve the inpatient beds for people that really, really needed them. Local doctors tell us they encourage people to get vaccinated, wear a mask, regardless of vaccination status, and practice social distancing. Julie Salmon, ABC Action News.